What is good people, welcome back to the channel. I am your host, Big Dre. Now, as you don't know, my channel is all about the metaverse crypto, NFTs. Just hope you don't make some money online. But I'm also a footballer, so if you do like anything football related, do follow my Instagram. That's at B-I-9-D-R-E. Now, we got some good information to clarify. You know what I'm saying? A lot of stuff has happened in crypto today. A lot of stuff has happened in the past 24 hours. Yeah. A lot of stuff but before we get into that make sure you hit that like button down below make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn the notification bell on and also guys remember this is not financial advice but it's not a financial advisor you could lose all your money you could also make a lot of money anything's possible in the world of crypto so make sure you watch this video all the way to the end as it will be interesting it will be entertaining and you will learn something new so the eu yeah, they proposed, there was a proposal. They wanted to ban Bitcoin. I'm probably going to title this like Bitcoin proposed a ban. I don't know. I don't know what my title is. But anyway, so they proposed that they wanted to ban. It wasn't actually Bitcoin. It was just proof of work. That's what they wanted to do. And I'll explain what proof of work is in a minute for some of you who don't understand. So look, so it's up 2% over the past week. Yeah, now look, it was discussed. And they said that they wanted to change it to proof of work. Now, as you guys see from here, as soon as it said they was going to do that, the price dropped. But once, you know, the proposal was rejected, we see a nice, steady trust. So they trust, let's say, belief return to the market. Now, if we scroll down a little bit more, we can start to read into this article a little bit more. If you don't want to read this article yourself, I'm going to put it in the comment section down below. This is from Coindesk here. Yeah? So, Bitcoin, BTC. Little has changed Monday after a proposal that could effectively ban Bitcoin across all of the EU. So, all the European countries. Wouldn't actually ban it from the UK. You know, because we're no longer... Anyway, but anyway, that's, that's a whole different subject. But anyway, that proposal was rejected. And what they were actually trying to do I've highlighted it there. The markets and crypto assets, so MICA, the most comprehensive digital asset legislation to date in the EU, include the provision that would have limited proof of work mining. So it wouldn't have actually banned Bitcoin. Yeah, just to let everyone know, it wouldn't have banned it. All it would have done is put some sort of limitations on proof of work. The provision, however, failed materialize as it'll be and it'll be left out of the bill so the bill's actually been already passed today let me check today's day i think it's the the 14th today yeah so it's 14th today the bill's already been passed they've taken out they're not going to do anything to do with they're not going to mess with the proof of work um what can i say legislation or what do you want to call it but anyway they're not going to mess with proof of work but basically if you lot are wondering what is proof of work I'll show you this article. Now, if you're a complete beginner to crypto, this stuff is going to confuse your brain. I'll be honest. So I'm just going to explain it myself. But look, I'll give you what they explain it as. Proof of work is the algorithm that secures many cryptocurrencies, including Bitcoin and Ethereum. Most digital, digital currencies have a central entity or leader keeping track of every user and how much money they have. But there's no such leader in charge of cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin. Right, so now, for some of you, that, that still doesn't make any sense, but let me just finish the sentence. Proof of work is needed to make online currency work without a company or government running the show. So basically, there's no one there deciding what's going to happen with all, you know, all the transactions. So basically, what proof of work really is, it's validating transactions. So you can buy a computer system, program it, so that it can validate nodes yeah nodes are different i've explained this in different videos i'll show you that anyway but anyway just to, to make it less complicated so you don't understand all it is you got blocked so you have blocks on the blockchain and when you're mining bitcoin all you're doing is validating that transaction it's simple as it is that's all you're doing validating the transaction so that it can be added onto the blockchain so that and also to make a new blockchain for more information to be processed that is literally all it is in simple terms i don't want to get make you not get too 
not into this, it'll be complicated. But guys, what does this mean? Because obviously, everyone's like jumping out of this and everyone's stressing and pulling out their fans. But don't stress, guys. Look, so for instance, yeah, I've got this this tab open to explain a lot of things. So now, I do these videos to help a lot of you guys, but I also do these videos just to document my journey in crypto. So Shiba, I knew about Shiba a while back. If you don't check my videos, I spoke about Shiba way before it blew up. Way before it blew up. Yeah. Polygons, another one I spoke about before it blew up. Mano was another one. I've got them there. I'll show you them after. But Shiba, Elon Musk made a tweet, you know, showing a Shiba Unu dog. Blew up. As we know, Elon influenced the market for some reason. I don't know. Everyone just takes whatever he says for gold. But the only thing is, he posted the H bar signal. Uh, symbol and no one's really jumped onto hbar i'm glad no one has you know what i mean that, that coin waste of time anyway i'll do a video about that anyway but guys if you're wondering how do i know that these coins are going to do well a friend of mine yeah who did very well in trading i told him i'm gonna get into trading myself his advice to me was just read the news that's all the advice that he gave me. He told me just read the news. And so what I did, I started reading the news. So look, if I show you lot my channel, look. If we go all the way down to the bottom now, you can see there's many different videos. Of course, I have many different stuff here. Yeah, many different stuff. But if we go all the way to the top root point, you can see my channel here. Now, let's scroll down a bit. I'm going to show you lot something. So now this... Is my polygon video that's nine months ago i uploaded it on the 30th of may exactly let me show you yeah literally the 30th of may now when i spoke about polygon it was yeah let me show you a lot it was somewhere here where is it 30th of may i think it's here yeah so when i spoke about polygon it was about one dollar and 69 cents at its a T H all time high. Yeah, about two eighty eight, I think it was. Yeah, so two dollars and eighty eight cents. That's about I'm no math genius, but I think it's about one point seven, something like that. Maybe a little you know, a little change. But it's around one point seven um, return on your investment. ROI. If you're wondering how I knew that, research. You know, it's easy. So what you guys have to do is understand one how big events affect the markets two the psychology of traders yeah meaning all the traders want to make the most amount of money the easiest amount of money and the least amount of time that's just what you have to understand that's how people trade this is psychology yeah so if you understand that understand how the events affect the, the market and understand how people think then you've got it yeah, and understand how that influences everything else. Now, the next one, the more important one. Obviously, as you don't know, I did know about Gala before it blew up as well. But we're not going to get into that one. We're not going to get into that. There's a lot of coins I've told you a lot about, and it's, it's popped. But anyway, so this is another one. So if you look, if we go to my channel, right? So I started researching about crypto, uh, what's I say? Metaverse coins long time ago so as you don't see look i was researching about metaverse coins long time ago not just 10 months ago i probably started doing it right about the time when i uploaded this video which was in march yeah this after Earth video now if i go here so let's say we say the end of march right so the end of march it was at Hold on, where's it gone? I think it was like, where's it gone? I'm sure it was like 169 or something like that it was worth when I spoke about it. Sorry, no. It was more, it was 73 pence actually. Sorry, 73 dollars. It says dollars, cents. So if you don't look, so this, when, it, when I really started researching it, it was 73 dollars. When I first knew about it, it was roughly, yeah, here. No, wait. It's roughly somewhere here yeah somewhere in this region 
But anyway, this is what I was speaking about. The all-time high right here. Five pounds, or oh, sorry, five dollars and twenty cents. It's about seven, seven times what's it called ROI. So no matter what you would have put in, you got seven times. Just so you understand what I mean by that. So if you would have put a hundred pound in, you got seven hundred quid. If you would have put a bag in there, a grand, yeah. So you don't understand bag of sand I'm from London. Anyway, so if you would have put a bag of sand in there, you'd have got back seven bags of sand. Just so you don't understand. So, if you don't want to understand, if you don't want me to do another video, I should say about coins, potential low cap coins that could pop. Let me know in the comment section down below. Anyway, don't want to make this video too long. It's already been too long. It's been your boy Big Dre. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe, and remember, it's in the sauce. Just buy the dip. <laughs>